Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. So let's see, singles. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So you might be, you know, having to work through trust issues and things like that that have been caused by people from past relationships there. So you may be working on trust issues before meeting somebody new. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life there. The divine always knows best. I know it's sometimes you can feel like, well, I want somebody now or, you know, I'm not ready for somebody now. Believe. When you're ready and the other person's ready and it's fair to you both, it will be time. So that's divine time in there, okay? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen, okay? So this is somebody new coming in. You may not um, feel like, um, you know, you're going to date them just yet. But, you know, the more you get to know them, the more interested you become in them, okay? So let's get some tarot cards here and see what's going on. Get four of swords, five of wands. Yeah, there's that inner conflict and just needing that time out there. You know, should I move on? Is it too soon? You know, um, you just need to heal yourself with the Four of Swords. If you have trust issues and you have this inner conflict, this is why we have divine time in here, okay? Don't worry, new love will come. Just take your time, be easy on yourself. Give yourself a chance to heal. Ooh, the Page of Swords, but they're spying on you. They want to know more about you. They could be asking you questions and you're like, why is this dude asking me so many questions? They just want to get to know you here. They want more information. And like I said, you know, the more you get to know them back in turn, the more you'll like each other. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Are you in the Queen of Swords energy at the moment, Sagittarius? You know, um, self-respecting, self-loving, this higher learning. Um, but maybe you're a bit cold to people. Um, you know, like, it's hard to approach you if, you know, they want to ask you out. So they're doing it a different way with the Page of Swords energy. Just talking to you, um, building up your trust with them, okay? So, let's see. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. So, it looks like the relationship you was in was a very long-term stable relationship there. And that's why, you know, it's brought up some issues for you. Um, that's why you may not be quite ready just yet, okay? Because that tends are about ending, so you're closing down that cycle of what once was a very stable relationship. Maybe very rewarding at times. May not seem like it now, um, but maybe soon you'll feel like, you know, you've grown a lot from that relationship. Queen of Cups, okay. So, this person sees the other side of your personality, okay? So, you know, while you're trying to present to the world that maybe you're this Queen of Swords energy, quite sharp and harsh on people, they know deep down inside you are a loving, caring, nurturing person here, okay? This is how they view you. So, that's wonderful that they see, you know, that side of you there. Ten of Cups, you could have um, a family already or children already. Um, and this is why they see you as um, a nurturer here. Um, but they believe they can be happy with you. And with the Ten of Pentacles, they believe you can have something um, special together. Love and stability with this person who's coming towards you. That's why they want to get to know you, build it up um, as a friendship first and they see you know they see more than you're portraying to the world they see yes you know you do have this side of you that's harsh 
and demands self-respect, which you should, you know. Um, but you're also in the heart of it. Deep down inside, you're this loving um, Queen of Cups energy. Again, the Ten of Cups showing that, you know, a relationship, a cycle was closed down there. So, Five of Swords and Queen of Wands, okay? So, it seems like, you know, action was taken to walk away from somebody who, you know, broke your heart here and left you indecisive whether, you know, um, is it time to move on? Um, will they ever come back? You know, I feel like you're in this um, to and fro energy. Um, I don't feel like you're arguing with them anymore. I feel like there's, you know, you've both gone your separate ways here. Um, so I feel like you're getting back to yourself here. It's just a process that you're going through. So, you know, when you're back to this Queen of Wands energy, very fun, very uh, flirty, very unique and graceful and powerful here. Um, and a lot of strength I'm seeing with you here. You know, allow yourself this process though. You know, with the Four of Swords there, it's the first card, the most important card. So allow yourself that process. This person sees all of you, you know. They're getting to know all of you, not just an image that we present to the world. Five of Cups. And they see you're a little bit still sad. They, you may have spoke to them about past relationships or you may speak to them about past relationships, okay? And I feel like they would be quite happy to listen. I see uh, these two cups, they're around her ears. This person will be a soulmate for you as well, okay? But it seems like they allow you to, you know, allow out this motion, uh, emotions here, okay? So it seems like, you know, a shoulder to cry on becomes, good luck guy. <laughs> 